Miss the B here. By now you've probably learned how to balance simple oxidation reduction reactions. Usually, balancing the electrons will balance the entire equation. In this video, I will explain how to balance complex oxidation reduction reactions in acidic media. In the first example, dichromate ion reacts with chloride ion to produce chromium 3 plus ion and chlorine gas. The first step in balancing this reaction is to divide it into two half reactions where dichromate ion produces chromium 3 plus ion and chloride ion produces chlorine gas. The next step is to balance the mass in each half reaction. In the first half reaction, there are two chromium ions on the left side of the equation and one chromium 3 plus ion on the right side. Therefore, to balance the chromium, I will place a 2 in front of the chromium 3 plus ion. In the second half reaction, there are two chlorines on the right side of the equation and one chloride ion on the left side. To balance the second half reaction, I will place a 2 in front of the chloride ion. The next step is to balance the oxygens in each half reaction. In the first half reaction, dichromate ion contains seven oxygen atoms. To balance the oxygens, I will simply add seven water molecules to the right side of the equation. Of course, in the second half reaction, no water is necessary since there are no oxygen atoms to balance. The 14 hydrogen atoms introduced during the addition of seven molecules of water may now be balanced by adding 14 hydrogen ions to the left side of the equation. The charges may now be balanced by adding electrons to the appropriate side of the half reaction. In the first half reaction, the charge on the right side is plus 6, where 2 times plus 3 is plus 6. The charge on the left side of the first half reaction is plus 14, where 14 times plus 1 is plus 14, plus a minus 2 equals plus 12. To balance the charge in the first half reaction, I will add six electrons to the left side. In the second half reaction, the charge on the left side is a negative two, where two times minus one is minus two. And the charge on the right side is zero. Adding two electrons to the right side will balance the charge, where on the left side, the charge is minus 2. And now, on the right side, the charge is minus 2. Now the charge between the two half reactions must be balanced. In the first half reaction, there are six electrons on the left side. In the second half reaction, there are two electrons on the right side. Tripling the second half reaction will balance the electrons, where 
Now, there are six chloride ions, three molecules of chlorine gas, and now six electrons. Since the electrons are now balanced, the equation is balanced. This point is very easy to determine which half reaction is oxidation and which half reaction is reduction. The reduction half reaction is the first half reaction. In a reduction half reaction, the electrons are always written on the left side. The second half reaction is an oxidation half reaction. In an oxidation half reaction, the electrons are always written on the right side. After canceling the electrons, the final balanced equation is written as follows. 14 moles of hydrogen ion plus 6 moles of chloride ion plus 1 mole of dichromate ion will produce 3 moles of chlorine gas plus two moles of chromium three plus ion and of course seven moles of water. 